Hello and welcome to the Health Bites section on feeding your toddler. Mealtime can be quite a challenge with a toddler. They're just learning to eat at the table and are trying many new foods. In this section, you'll learn about how to make mealtime with your toddler as enjoyable as possible. Earth. Earth. It is quite bright here. Bright here. Must you keep repeating me? Yes, Gherkin. My name is not Gherkin. It is Gherchen. Do you think any of the earthlings in these homes knows how to feed their toddler? I do not know, but I hope it is true. Just imagine. If Jellbone wins this bet against Menklin, you and I will become sub-rulers over the entire intergalactic colony. Yes, but we must discover whether Jailbone is right. She says earthling parents know how to feed their young earthling children. Menklin says they do not. We only have to find one family, right? Yes, if we find but one family, Jailbone wins. Let us examine the guidelines that Jailbone gave us. It is like a, what do earthlings call it, scavenger hut. That should be hunt. Scavenger hunt, not a hut. A hut is a type of home. Foods from different food groups. Family eating together. No food battles. Toddler-sized dishes and cups. Also, no baby bottles. Encourage self-feeding. Avoid choking hazards and food allergies. Offer iron-rich foods. Serve new foods with familiar ones. Introduce new foods numerous times until child is ready to try them. Only two cups of milk per day. I do not understand what may be choking hazards and food allergies. Earthling toddlers may choke on hard foods or foods with skin such as raisins, popcorn, grapes, hot dogs, and raw carrots. They should not have these foods until they are age two. Likewise, they should not eat nuts or peanut butter before age two, because they may get serious allergies. That is it. Do you have your transparent seeing device? We have arrived at precisely the right time. Feeding time, it is. The earthlings are making dinner. Yes, this house contains one young earthling. But what is that he is eating? I do not know. It appears to be an instant meal of no nutritional value because there is a lot of fat, a lot of sugar, and a lot of salt. And it contains a large quantity of food for such a small little earthling. He is so cute. It appears that his older sibling is caring for him. I am concerned that he does not know how to help him if he chokes. One and two year olds must be supervised by their parents when they eat, in case they choke. Good point, Gherkin. It's Gherchen. Got it. But look, he has not touched his vegetables. He has eaten only unhealthy snacks. Perhaps it is because the fork is too big for him to handle. Also, the brown crispy chicken is too large. I agree. It is not the correct meal for a small earthling. And they are not talking to each other. He seems more interested in watching the television than eating his meal. This does not look like a very pleasant feeding time. This is not good. Not good, Gherkin. I mean, Gherchen. I hope it is not the same in all of these homes. Let us move on to the next one. This house appears to contain a toddler-aged earthling and two parents. These mashed potatoes are lumpy again. How can they be lumpy? They're instant. Well, obviously someone can't follow the directions on the box. Chelsea? Aren't you going to eat your food? If you don't eat your food, you're not going to get any dessert. You need to at least try it. I want goldfish. Eat your chicken. I don't understand it. Last night, Chelsea had two full plates of food. Tonight, she won't eat anything. She needs to eat. You know what? Maybe it's a food jag. Food jag? What's a food jag? Let us discover what this means. 
A food jag is something normal for earthling toddlers. Some days they eat only one food and reject all others. On other days they reject that food. Some days they eat all their meals. On other days they do not eat very much. Also, they may go for days eating only one or two or three foods and nothing else. Earthling children are strange, strange creatures. Perhaps to us, Lingua, but for earthling toddlers, food jags are normal. What is this? It's spinach, honey. It's good for you. I want a hot dog. Really? Oh, all right, I'll make you a hot dog. But you're going to eat so many hot dogs, you're going to turn into one one day. This also does not appear to be a pleasant meal time. The toddler did not want to eat. Perhaps she drank too much fluid before the meal. That fills up children's stomachs and makes them full, Gurchin. It is Gurchin. <sighs> Maybe the television is distracting them, Lingua. The father is trying to force the toddler to eat, and the mother is offering dessert as a bribe and cooking what the child demands. A hot dog is not safe for such a young child because she may choke on it. None of those is the correct solution. It seems that earthlings do not know how to feed their toddlers. Jailbone will be so disappointed in us. Let us not lose hope yet, Lingua. One more house, maybe. Then we shall return to Kamaram, our homeland. One more house. But first, I would like to review the guidelines. I want to be sure we make no mistakes in our assessment. What is this? Some type of earth communication is interfering with our signal. Hi there, I'm Gary Costner, host of TV's The Portion is Right. And I'm here to tell you about the amazing Mealtime Wonder Parrot 3.0. But first, does your family mealtime ever look like this? Now, in the future, you'll be able to snap your fingers and your meal times will magically become perfect. Everything will be calm. There won't be any fights over eating those important iron-rich foods like cereal, beans, peanut butter, eggs, whole grains, and vegetables. And you won't have questions either. You'll instantly know everything your child should and shouldn't have during mealtime and how to properly feed your toddler. That's right. In the future, all of that knowledge will be yours at just the snap of a finger. For that very reason, I'm so excited to introduce you to, for the very first time, for the low, low price of five affordable payments, shipping and handling not included, I'm excited to introduce you to the amazing Mealtime Wonder Parent 3.0. Well, I will tell you. Let me demonstrate just a few of the things the amazing Mealtime Water Parent can do. The amazing Mealtime Water Parent 3.0 will always stay on the alert for choking hazards such as popcorn, raisins, peanuts, hot dogs, cherry tomatoes, or grapes. Watch this. Choking hazard alert! Popcorn is a choking hazard and you should not feed it to your toddler. How about that, huh? Absolutely amazing! <laughs> now watch this. It will even answer your questions. Guster, you have a question for Guster? Guster? Should you feed the same foods to your toddler as the rest of the family is eating or cook him something different? That is easy. You should offer your toddler the same food you feed the rest of the family. Also, make sure to offer bite-sized or easy to pick up pieces. What a wealth of information! Maria wants a question. Okay, Maria. Why don't we let someone from our studio audience here ask a question? Uh, you. Yes, you, right there. Come on up. Hi there. What's your name? Laurel. Okay, Laurel. What's your question for Maria? 
Is it my job to pick out what my little girl eats and how much, or is it just what she eats or just how much? Hmm. It is your job to choose what she eats. She decides how much. Now, if she's not hungry or one seconds, it's up to her. And you should never force her to eat if she's not hungry. Thanks, Laura. Now, how much would you expect to pay for something this amazing? Earlier, I told you that the amazing Mealtime Wonder Parent 3.0 costs just five simple and affordable payments. Now, how much do you expect those payments to cost? $3,000. Mm. Aha! One million dollars! <laughs> Actually, wait, wait just a second. And my producers are telling me, yes, I've just received word that all the information, the alerts, everything you have just seen can be yours for the special introductory price of absolutely nothing! <laughs> That's right! It's absolutely free! How, you may ask? Let me share a secret. These amazing Mealtime Wonder Parents started out just like you. That's right. All you have to do is do what you do best. Be a good role model to your toddler at the dinner table. They look up to you, you know. Talk to your healthcare professional or visit your local WIC office. You can even visit great websites like mypyramid.gov. And just like that, you can harness all the technology and the know-how of the amazing Wonder Parent 3.0. Sound too good to be true? <laughs> I don't think so. Act now, it will even throw in the incredible one-page Feeding Your Toddler Fridge Notes, offering an easy guide to, you guessed it, Feeding Your Toddler. You can't put a price tag on that kind of value. Call now. Operators are standing by. And now, back to whatever you were doing before you were forced to sit through this program. I'm Gary Costner. Bye bye now. That was certainly strange. Let us proceed to the next home. All right, here we go. Some meatloaf, just the way you like it. And we have some broccoli and peas and sliced baked potatoes. Let me cut this in bite pieces. Now, mommy has some broccoli in her plate. You've seen me eat it many of times. Would you like to try some? Yeah? All right. Here we go. All right. Let's put some cheese on it. All right, you wanna try it? Do you like it? I knew you would. This little family is having a lovely meal time with no distractions. Let us review the checklist to affirm that this family is feeding its toddler correctly. And let us hope there is no interference this time. Yes, Gherkin. It is Gierchen, Gierchen. Remember? And yes, it is indeed a pleasant meal. Foods from different food groups. Yes. Is the family eating together? Yes. Battles over food. I see none. Check. Toddler size dishes, cups, and utensils? Affirmative. I saw all of those things. Are there any choking hazards or foods the child might be allergic to? Negative. Are there iron rich foods? The meatloaf is very rich in iron. Yes. She will grow big and strong. We are getting closer, Lingua. New foods with familiar ones. Indeed. The broccoli was new and consumption was successful. Serve new foods until the child is ready to try them. She said she had served the broccoli before, and this time the earthling toddler tried it. Is that all? One more. Only two cups of milk per day. I see a sippy cup of milk that is half full there. My senses indicate she has had a total of two cups today, which is her limit. And there is not too much food on the child's plate. It is a simple meal. Lingua, our mission is accomplished. We have found an earthling family that feeds its toddler correctly. Jellbone will certainly win this bet against Minklin. Now nah, we will be sub-rulers of the colony. Huzzah! 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 
goodbye, Earth. We have been encouraged by our visit here. Goodbye, little Earthling families. We shall remember you fondly. I hope you enjoyed seeing these family mealtimes. Which one resembles yours? You can learn more about feeding your toddler by checking out the other activities and games in this section. Bon appetit, Earthlings! <laughs>